Hello everyone! Today I'd like to dedicate this video to such a refractory metal as molybdenum. In the periodic table of chemical elements, molybdenum belongs to the sixth group and is located above tungsten. Because of having a smaller atomic radius, molybdenum is a bit more active than tungsten and has a lower electrochemical potential. Molybdenum does not occur naturally as free metal, but it can be obtained through a chemical synthesis from minerals. This metal's name is derived from the Greek word molybdos, meaning lead, since its ores were frequently confused with lead ores. This metal is produced by reduction of molybdenum trioxide with hydrogen. Pure molybdenum metal looks like a grey shiny metal, which is extremely similar to tungsten. If two identical pieces of these metals are put together, the difference between them will become clear, as molybdenum looks smoother than tungsten. Besides appearance, the density of molybdenum is two times smaller than that of tungsten. Speaking of the physical properties of this metal, molybdenum is a quite solid, yet fragile metal. This property can be tested with a firearm. When a 9mm bullet is shot on a 3mm thick molybdenum plate, it easily pierces a hole. Along with that, it can clearly be seen how the bullet tears out bits of molybdenum. That is why this metal is not likely to be used for producing tank armor. Speaking of the chemical properties of molybdenum, in air this metal is quite resistant to being oxidized at room temperature, but when heated up, it quickly starts oxidizing, covering in molybdenum dioxide and trioxide layer. Uneven thickness of the oxide layer makes an oxidized molybdenum rod multicolored. Moreover, when electric current is passed through a molybdenum wire, because of this metal high internal impedance, molybdenum wire starts heating up and glowing bright at the same time melting down. This metal's melting temperature is more than 2500 Celsius degrees. Also, when pressed against a rotating grinding wheel, molybdenum starts self-igniting, producing molybdenum oxide, which is used as glue for spraying vitreous enamel on metal. One of the most widespread molybdenum's chemical compound is ammonium orthomolybdate, which is used for producing pure molybdenum metal, as well as corrosion inhibitor of some metals. When alkali is added, it forms sodium heptamolybdate, which dissolves well in water. If such a solution is made more acidic with hydrochloric acid, and if to add a piece of magnesium to it, the hydrogen produced as a result of the reaction will reduce molybdenum in the solution, producing so-called molybdenum blue. This compound is molybdenum oxide fine particles with different oxidation states. The color of molybdenum blue can differ depending on the acidity. For instance, when pH value of greenish solution is increased to 4, the color changes to bluish, whereas when a very acidic molybdate solution is reduced, its color changes to reddish-orange. I think that in very acidic solution, this reaction produces molybdenum tetrachloride. As a matter of fact, molybdenum blue composition can be very unpredictable and very complex. Upon further reduction of sodium molybdate in acidic environment, a black solution is produced, and to determine the exact content of which poses a challenge because of being very complex. Probably it contains molybdenum compounds with different oxidation states. Adding of alkali to such a solution produces sediment, which I believe consists of black molybdenum hydroxide and molybdenum tetrachloride, along with lots of other chemicals. If anyone of you is a specialist in molybdenum compounds, please share your suggestions about what you think happens in the test tube. Nowadays, more than 80% of metallic molybdenum is used in metallurgy as a steel alloying addition, which makes steel harder and more corrosion resistant. Molybdenum disulfide is used as an excellent lubricant for machine elements. Because of having a high melting temperature, this metal is also used in the production of incandescent light bulbs to make support wires 
for tungsten filaments. Moreover, molybdenum is a very essential mineral in living organisms. It serves as a metal heteroatom in the active site of many enzymes, for instance, in such an enzyme as xanthine oxidase, which catalyzes oxidation of hypoxanthine into xanthine, which is a very important process in the metabolism of nitrogen-containing purines in human cells. To sum up, we can say that molybdenum is a very important metal, which has also plays an essential role in our organism. For the provided molybdenum plate for the experiments, I'll thank the company Stanford Advanced Materials. I'll put a link to their site in the video description. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon, link in the video description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see many more new and interesting.